What's up YouTube, Natural Nails Renee here, and this video is going to be me cutting down my nails before I go get my manicure. Um, as you can see, our nails are pretty lengthy. Well, they are for me. I do a lot of keyboard typing with, for my job and nails. I don't know how people would roll, roll, roll long nails use their nails to type i can't i can't um i like my fingertips so these are too long um i've caught my thumbnail a couple times this thumbnail a couple times so what i'm going to do is remove the nail polish well i have um 10 over 10 repair or rehab which base coat i can't remember the name of it i'm sorry it's either rehab or repair but i believe it's rehab um, and it has different ingredients and ingredients in it to help make your nails strong, healthy, and no cracking and peeling and things of that sort. So I'm going to take, um, my Butter London Nail Scrubber. It's a two-in-one prep and lacquer remover wipe. So I love these little, they're so convenient. So, let me get started. The, these scrubbers have a rough side and a smooth side. So, I will use that when I have like stubborn, like fine glitter nail polish on. But this is just 10 over 10 rehab. It came back to my head. It is called rehab. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this off each hand. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, I think they're pretty much cleaned off. I just, with non-acetone removers, you do have to put a little elbow grease in. I don't mind, because your, your nails will benefit in the long run. I've said that in another video. They will benefit in the long run. So, now what I'm going to do Next is push back cuticles and whatnot. So my little cuticle pusher. I'm going to need these as well. These are nail scissors. The best way to cut down your nail is with nail scissors done my research um clippers you can't get you know if they're not extremely sharp and sometimes they're not um you can crush the nail instead of cutting the nail and damage the nail um you can't really get a clean cut scissors you get a clean cut it is the manicure scissors or nail scissors are the best healthiest way to cut your nails yes so but first what i would like to do is pause this video to go wash my hands and then I'm going to do the cuticle part, pushing the cuticle back. I'm not cutting them. I'm going to leave that up to the manicurist. I'll be right back. Well, I'm back. My nails are nice and clean. And now I'm going to use what I use is Sally Hansen's instant cuticle remover. That's what I use. 
what I'm going to do is just put a dab and then spread it. That's how I do it. Dab, then spread it. Dab, and spread. Dab, and spread. Yeah, so now what you do is what I do. So I take the cuticle remover stuff and then I just scrape up the cuticle. You know, cutting the cuticle is such a controversy because some, you're, you know, technically you're not supposed to, you're supposed to just do this, pushing it back. Um, but if you're like me, you need to get your cuticles cut because mine, they just grow. They just go grow. They're they'll be overgrown. Let me clean off. this one push the cuticle back getting any gunk any dead skin dead cuticle whatever you want to call it now the thumb take and just wipe the excess off and do now do the other hand so now I'm going to spread so there we go So this is more difficult because I am not a lefty. I'm a righty and I'm not ambidextrous. Point and finger, technical word for this name rather, finger is index. That's a say pointing. And last but not least, Mr. Thumb. Let me wipe 
the excess off. And I'm going to go wash my hands to get any residue of the Sally Hansen's instant cuticle. Okay, I'm broth. back. So next, I'm going to cut. I found these. I googled and found these. These are made by Tweezerman. And they are stainless steel made out of Italy. So, um, I, I actually googled to see what was the best method to cut when you have to cut your nails down and cutting them with scissors came up to be the healthiest. And then I just recently watched a video um, because my glass filer that I use is made by the company called Germ Germacure and they make um, scissors, so, nail scissors, manicure scissors. Let's get started. All right. I'm, I'm not going to cut this, obviously. I'm just, I'm still waiting for this to come back a little more. But here we go with this one. You get a much cleaner cut. Now, the harder part, cutting these nails. <laughs> okay, they were saying um, because this is over this, this is a right-handed scissor. So what you do is you take that side of it. You're supposed to be, cut, yeah. And then you take them off and you go and you bring them down to cut them. So. Let's see if this is going to work for me. And it is. I'm not cutting the thumb. So there we go. All my nails are now cut. This one is a little, I don't know, I came on the angle. So, um, I'm gonna have to go lower on this. Matter of fact, let me just. Cut that, there we go. And now for the filing. For the filing, so you can see that was real quick, right? I know some people who don't let their nails get as long as mine were because they, and they keep them at a shorter length, a little, maybe a little longer than this. And they never cut their nails. They use just the file. Just the file. So now bring my Germacure glass filer out and get the work in. Get the filing. Get ready for my five o'clock appointment with Jenny. I see, I go to two manicurists. The main one, my main manicurist is Andrea at Rapunzel's. But I also now go on my off week from Andrea. I may, not all the time, go to Jenny. At Unique Nails. And to get... Uh, a manicure, especially when my cuticles are very overgrown. So, what I'm going to do is keep working at filing these nails to get them in the shape that I want them. As you can see, it's coming along just pretty easy. So I'm going to speed through. Y'all stay tuned.
Okay. My file job is done. My nails are cut down like I wanted them to be. My glass file from Germacure. Love it, love it, love it. So, there you have it. Cut my nails down. File them. Y'all have a good one. Peace.